Are British tourists really turning their back on sunny Spain? With new laws and anti-tourist protests in popular spots like Mallorca and Ibiza, more Brits are thinking twice about their favorite holiday destination. People share their frustrations online, calling for a boycott and suggesting other vacation spots. Curious to know why this is happening and what it means for your next holiday? Let's dive into this video today to discover all the details and how it might affect your travel plans. Spain, beloved by Britons for sun, sea, sand, and relaxed pace of life, is now facing a potential boycott from holidaymakers. Recently, many Britons are canceling their trips to Spain due to increasing anti-tourist protests and the introduction of new restrictive laws. Adding to the tension, new laws in parts of Ibiza and Mallorca directly affect tourists. For example, drinking alcohol on the streets is now banned, and shops selling alcohol must close between 9.30 p.m. and 8 a.m. Additionally, new regulations are also affecting stag and hen parties, such as abandoned clothing representing human genitals or wearing only underwear in public areas. Despite Spain's continued popularity as a holiday destination, these rule changes and anti-tourist sentiment do not please all Britons. Feeling unwanted and unwelcome, many angry holidaymakers are voicing their frustrations online. Discussions on Facebook are filled with calls to cancel holiday plans to Spain and suggestions to visit other warm destinations like Turkey instead. British vacationers are also quick to remind Spanish locals that tourism is vital to the economy and that British tourists contribute significantly to it. However, Spanish protesters clarify that they are not against tourists per se, but are challenging the issues caused by mass tourism. So why did this happen? In 2023, Spain welcomed an astounding 85.1 million international tourists, surpassing pre-pandemic levels by nearly 2 million and generating 109 billion euros in revenue. The UK contributes significantly to this influx, with 17.3 million British visitors holidaying in Spain last year. Tourism, accounting for 11% of Spain's GDP, is vital for employment and economic growth. However, it has also led to skyrocketing housing prices and overcrowded destinations, causing resentment among locals. Anti-tourist protests are becoming increasingly common in places like Barcelona, Mallorca, and the Canary Islands, and British tourists, who form a substantial portion of visitors, are specifically affected. Recently, around 300 residents of Mallorca occupied Calastemor Beach, a popular Instagram spot chanting for tourists to go home. This protest is part of demonstrations where locals reclaimed their beloved beaches and hotspots from the tourist crowd. Thousands also marched in the Canary Islands in April, protesting against the tourism model harming their environment. In March, anti-tourist stickers in Malaga drew attention, and Ibiza residents are likewise protesting against a housing crisis exacerbated by mass tourism. Multiple British media outlets have reported that tourists threatened to spend their money elsewhere due to rising local tensions. According to the Mirror, some Brits have written to the paper, expressing their plans to travel to destinations where they feel more welcome. These demonstrations reflect a growing frustration among residents about the impact of large numbers of tourists in their communities. British tourists have also faced criticism for their behavior. Just last month, eight British tourists were arrested after attacking staff at a beach club in Mallorca. In May, two British women were caught fighting on camera. Spanish towns have imposed dress codes and limited the number of drinks in all-inclusive hotels to combat the increase in party tourism. Additionally, a law banned shops from selling alcohol between 9.30 p.m. and 8 a.m. Barcelona has long been at odds with mass tourism. The city, which appeared on Fodor's No List in 2020, continues to grapple with overcrowding despite restrictions on cruise ships. Recently, locals successfully petitioned Google and Apple Maps to remove a bus route overwhelmed by tourists, making it difficult for residents to commute. In April, police used batons on locals protesting at Parc Guell during a Louis Vuitton event. This summer, more actions from locals are expected in these popular destinations, including a potential attempt to bring Mallorca's airport to a standstill. British tourists are starting to take notice. Reports from multiple British media outlets indicate that some tourists are considering boycotting Spain due to the rising tensions. One tourist mentioned, I plan to head somewhere the locals want tourists and the benefits they bring to the local economy. There's no point in going where you're not wanted. There are plenty of other places to visit in Europe and worldwide. Let's see how they manage without tourism. Discussions on social media platforms like Facebook are filled with calls to cancel holidays to Spain and suggestions to visit other warm destinations like Turkey instead. British vacationers quickly remind Spanish locals that tourism is vital to the economy and that British tourists contribute significantly to it. However, Spain protesters clarify that they are not against tourists per se, but are challenging the issues caused by mass tourism. As tensions rise, the relationship between British tourists and Spanish locals becomes increasingly strained, 
potentially leading to significant changes in travel patterns. Tourists should stay informed about local sentiments and ongoing protests before booking their holidays in Spain. So what did tourists have to say? A disgruntled Brit took to Facebook, commenting, The Spanish aren't slow in taking holiday makers money. Echoing this statement, another user said, All UK travel agents should cancel holidays to Spain, Mallorca, and Tenerife due to non-friendly actions against their clients and possible court cases. Another commenter recommended a different destination. Go to Turkey. It's very hot in August, cheap to eat and drink, and very good value. We've been there several times and have never had a bad time. The locals are friendly to you. Reported Birmingham Live. Sharing a positive experience, one commenter recounted, We went out for a meal one evening, and after we had finished, we had a coffee and asked for brandy with it. They didn't have brandy, so they sent someone out who came back with a ball of brandy and gave us a glass each in the house. Give it a go, you won't be disappointed. Despite the protests, another traveler stated, Going to Tenerife next Saturday, we'll spend our money locally. We have no control over wages, housing, or the building of hotels and accommodation. Ask the locals who have either sold or rented their homes. Another comment emphasized the economic impact, stating, The Spanish economy will notice a real drop in income if they upset their main source of tourism. Seems some folks like to bite the hands that feed them, another concurred. Moreover, a GB News reader shared their decision, saying, We've been going to Tenerife twice a year for many years, but never again. Just booked two weeks in the Caribbean for February 2025. Hopefully, they will appreciate us a little more. Another reader added, Unfortunately, I booked for Lanzarote months ago, before I knew about them moaning about English tourists for January 2025. But I won't be going to any Spanish island or Spain after that. I was in Rhodes last month. People are much friendlier than the Spanish. A third reader expressed concerns about holidaying in Spain but acknowledged the need for change. I have a holiday booked soon to Gran Canaria and I have seriously thought about cancelling as I don't feel will be welcome. I understand why they're protesting but I think they need to focus on the problems, specifically clothing and Airbnbs, not protesting tourism as a whole. Another agreed, saying they totally agree with the clothing issue. One reader recommended an alternative destination. Go to Bulgaria, just as hot, cheaper, and lovely beaches. However, some understand the plight of Spaniards who want to manage tourism better. One resident stated, I am happy for tourists to go elsewhere. Spain is a great country. We have lived here for 18 years. One thing we don't need is a tattooed beer belly parading around and creating a nuisance. Tourists should remember that people live here and are entitled to peace and quiet. The worst ones are renters of properties. They play music loudly and let their children scream and shout in the pool. No respect for the people living next door. Spain won't collapse because a few tourists go to another country. Another reader commented, You obviously don't understand the reasons for the protests. They're against mass tourism and developers building everywhere, using up resources. We're talking about islands here. Plus, they're not anti-British laws. There's other nationalities that travel to those places. Although certain Brits do need to behave a lot better than they do, you can't honestly defend some people's behavior. So, what do you think of British tourists boycotting Spain? Comment below and subscribe for more.